Hey, how are you feeling? You seem a little stronger. Do uh, you want to try and stand? I can't. Mm. Hmm. Why don't you just do the first option, drive somewhere, call 911? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Why not? Um, you clearly can't stand me. I mean, the feeling is very mutual. So why don't you just call emergency services, have someone pick me up, and we can forget this whole thing ever happened. Mm-hmm. That's not how you work. Excuse me, how I work? Yeah. You're paranoid. You ran me down with a car, and you somehow convinced yourself that it was my fault. So if I leave uh. you here, assuming that you don't, you know, get lost in the woods, you're going to go running to your uncle, the police commissioner, and then claim that you were kidnapped, which is ridiculous, and there won't be a shred of proof, but he'll feel obligated to pursue it because you're his sweet little niece. And no doubt you'll get Patrick involved, and I'd rather just skip all of that drama. So we'll wait until you're strong enough, okay? And we'll leave together. Uh, forensics won't be in for a few days, but based on initial reports, the PCPD is calling this an accident. Lana was Lisa's head nurse. It's not coincidence that she wound up dead the same day that Robin went missing. I'm not defending Lisa. Well, you haven't fired her yet, have you? We have had this conversation, Patrick. She's an excellent physician. I can't just recommend that she be removed without a valid reason. You, you want valid reason? She broke into my house. She cut Robin's face out of our wedding photo. She took my daughter without permission. Hey, listen to me. She jumped in front of Robin's car and made it look like Robin was trying to kill her. Now she's missing. It's clear. Lisa is hung up on you. But trying to wreck a marriage is a far cry from what if you're wrong? What if Lisa's trying to kill Robin? He's fallen out of love with himself since he got involved with you. You somehow convinced him that he wasn't worthy. That he needed to become someone smaller and sadder. Someone like you. It just kills you, doesn't it? That Patrick loves me. <laughs> and that all your stories about the good old days and NASCAR and sex against the wall <sighs> means nothing to Patrick. You've carried around these stories like they were some sort of holy grail, but Patrick, well, he's moved on with his life, so maybe you should try that. I don't, uh, I don't think you ever grew up. I think you were always old. I think you were just always this old little lady judging everyone around you, scolding them if they don't live up to your standards of excellence and decorum. And I have to admit that when I first came to Port Charles, it mystified me. Why everyone defers to you. It's like, where does this authority come from? I mean, how did you get on a pedestal so high that you feel qualified to look down on everybody else? Maybe you feel looked down upon because you're a slut who's been trying to seduce a married man. It's an ordinary sin, Robin. It happens all the time. You know, people work together. They get a little too familiar. One thing happens and an affair ends up manifesting. All right? It, yes. Yes, it's uncomfortable, but it is not the end of the world. Unless, of course, you know, the scorned wife is the sainted Robin Scorpio. And that's what raises a garden variety infidelity to the level of grand tragedy. Because you have HIV. Which, of course, is the answer to the mystery that I just mentioned. Why everyone defers to you. And now that I think of it, that's how you got Patrick in the first place. Why don't you try to rest? So that's what happened. Isn't it? Patrick found out you had HIV, but by that time it was too late. Patrick knew that I was HIV positive long before we ever slept together. Yeah, but not before he hit on you. Am I right? Because we both know how much Patrick loves a challenge, and you with your snotty little attitude is like a red flag for him. I mean, he had to just flirt with you and get you to sleep with him, and then once he started, he couldn't back down when he found out that you had HIV. I mean, that would be bigoted. Prejudice. You know, you are so sick. <laughs> and I have to say, it is fascinating to sit here and listen to you desperately try to rationalize something that is so simple and so clear. 
Patrick and I love each other. That's it. He loves me like he never loved you, Lisa. Well, all I can say is that loving you doesn't appear to be much fun for Patrick. Well, all I can say is you don't know him anymore. Patrick has a family now, and all you've tried to do is destroy that. Oh my God, you kidnapped our daughter. <laughs> okay. Where do you come up with this, Robin? Okay, I took Emma for ice cream, right? I asked the babysitter's permission, right? There was nothing dangerous about it at all. I even borrowed my friend's car seat. And what, my HIV meds just magically disappeared? My locker trashed itself? Well, apparently mine did. No, you trashed it. it just like you boiled my daughter's toy, just like you stole my HIV meds. Okay. Hypothetically speaking, just for the sake of argument, what if I did steal your HIV meds? I mean, so what? I mean, it's, it's not like they're irreplaceable. I mean, it's a very common prescription. You just go to the pharmacy and you get a refill. I mean, yes, you losing your meds, it was an inconvenience, a minor irritation, but it is not the end of the world, Robin. But why does everything have to be such a big drama for you? It's like you turning my trip for ice cream with Emma into a kidnapping. Although, you know what? You have to find some way to keep Patrick's attention. I just, <laughs> it's too bad for Emma. What does that mean? Anything will help. Was Lisa acting annoyed? Was she was she snapping at any of the nurses at all during Karen, the shift? Karen, could you please go check on the patient in 1027? If yes. you remember anything, Karen. Look, you can't go around interrogating the entire staff. Well, what do you want me to do? Just sit here while my wife is the missing? The police already questioned everyone who was on duty during Lisa's shift. No one saw anything unusual. I'm, uh, are you kidding me? The nurse that works in Lisa's department is dead. That's unusual. Even if you're right, and Lisa is unbalanced, her obsession is with you. She had no reason to push Lana down She has stairs. every reason to take Robin out. I know you're worried, but we have to think about this logically. Chief, Lisa is not logic. Without Robin, she believes that we'll be together. That gives her plenty of motive to want to hurt Robin. Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre, can I talk to you for a minute? You find Robin? Uh, not, not yet. But we canvassed the area where her car was left, and uh, and I had officers go door to door with her picture, you know, hoping that maybe she went to somebody's house for help. But so far, nobody's seen okay, her. Okay, what about Lisa? Well, we sent the patrol car and uh, to her apartment. She's not there. She's not answering her cell phone. Maybe. Okay, you need to put out an APB. Call the TV stations, plaster Lisa's picture all over the place. Look, it doesn't work like that, okay? Right now, Dr. Niles is just a person of interest. But when I find her, I'm going to ask her where she was. No, that, that's going to be too late. What if Lisa's trying to hurt Robin? We don't have time. Look, without any concrete evidence tying Dr. Niles into the scene, there's nothing I can do. Are you starting to have gaps in your memory? Because I've told you no less than 20 times that I have no idea where Emma is. So unless you left her playing in the middle of traffic, I'm sure she's fine. What does that mean? What you said, it's too bad for her. Oh, that's just going to be hard for her growing up with an attention junkie like you for a mother. I bet on some level you're even jealous of Emma. You're sick. Why, well, she's this darling little girl. I've had her dotes on her. I mean, I'm sure it has to be threatening on some level. I mean, you're not the center of Patrick's world anymore. Emma is, and so you need to do something to regain the spotlight. And you wildly overreacting to Patrick sleeping with me is one way to go about doing it. You were the one that made sure that I found out that you and Patrick slept together. Okay, yes, I will admit to that. I did want you to know. You know, I was hoping that you'd feel so put upon that you'd dump him. And I should have known that you would much rather torture him with guilt, which is why my one night with Patrick had to turn into a hospital-wide crisis with you screaming down the halls and punching me and making baseless accusations that everyone knows that poor, blameless Robin got cheated on. You know, it, although it backfired to a certain extent because you may be the scorned wife but you're also the suspended doctor. I mean, why not just agree to counseling? I will if you will.
No, thanks. I'm actually... I'm actually starting to feel pretty fine. I'm starting to enjoy myself again, you know? Because now that everything's out in the open, people are being a lot nicer to me than I expected. It's... Oh. Mr. McKinley uh, relapsed? Last I checked, his vitals were stable. Why? Because well, I had six mixed calls from the hospital. You didn't pick up? No, I was at the movies. I had my phone turned off. Lisa. Yeah? Hey, I was helping uh, you could give me a hand here. 19-year-old kid fell off the ladder, shattered his femur. I was hoping you could uh, help me get him back playing ball before spring. Sure. What are you doing? Trying to save a kid's scholarship. What happened to searching for Robin? Robin's missing? Yeah, an officer found her car in a ditch off Route 9. Emma was still inside. Oh my God, is Emma all right? She's fine. Safely buckled in her seat before Robin wandered off. Well, Robin would never do anything to put Emma in danger. Oh, she has before, only this time she doesn't have postpartum depression. Oh, wow, that's pretty harsh. Harsh? It's my kid that was left unattended. You know, maybe Robin's distraught. I mean, she was pretty over the top during the suspension hearing. You know what, you don't have to make excuses. Truth is, our marriage was falling apart for some time. We were trying to make it work for Emma's sake, but it's obvious that's not a priority for Robin. You know what? Robin could have hit her head in the accident and just wandered off without even realizing Emma was in the car. Robin's been acting erratic for weeks, blaming Lisa for a number of crazy things. Yeah, well, can you blame her? Look, there's only so much I can do. I apologize for my fear. If Robin doesn't want to get over it, then at a certain point, I need to move on. 